So we'll talk a little bit about Strum's chapter in Respect My Philosopher. Okay, um, but basically one of the main elements of South Park is to deconstruct, dismantle, destroy celebrity. I think we, we, we know this. They want us to, you know, they want to pull the, uh, you know, show us what's behind the curtain, uh, so, so to speak. Expose them, um, you know, and undermine their authority in society. And what they try to do is, you know, look at how celebrities are manufactured, how they are constructed. And they like to undermine this process. They like to subvert, you know, um, how celebrities are produced, how we consume them, um, and how they are circulated through, through the media. So a great example from, from an episode we haven't seen is the one about Honey Boo Boo and Mama June. Um, which, which, which looks at, you know, the production of them as celebrities, how we consume them, um, and, and, you know, um, the circulation of them as celebrities. So that's important. Oh, it's wicked, raining out right now. This whole intent, though, is to, you know, we give them the authority, and it's to basically, in many ways, kind of rip on us um, in the sense of how we celebrify celebrities, how we give them that status and authority and the ways in which they do that. South Park, you know, goes into us on, on that and how and our role in that, if you're able to kind of see that, right? Um, you think maybe they're just making fun of the celebrities, but they're making fun of you too. Okay, so celebrities, you know, when you think of them, they can be commodities, they can be products that are bought and sold in a market text, they could be symbols, they could be texts. Um, I mean, think about so many celebrities, how do we consume them? We don't know them as human beings, we consume them through texts, through listening to their music, through watching them in movies, to watching them on television, to reading about them in magazines, um, to... Uh, following their social media, uh, etc. We are consuming those texts, okay? Um, they have a vital role in our cultural identity. I mean, a lot of us associate part of who we are, how we think about the world, um, and many of our traits and our identity, we align with, with the celebrities who help inform um, that for us. And they often have a, a function in society, various types of functions within society. But celebrities, you know, they do have status. They do have meaning in, in a world in which we create them as consumers of them as celebrities. So if we look at, uh, in this chapter, he talks about Rojek's categories of celebrity. And you want to know this for the testy poo, the next testy poo. Okay. Um, Celebrity can be ascribed, okay? And this is one of the ways that celebrities are created. Basically, um, it can be ascribed through lineage, predetermined. So a great example of this would be Paris Hilton, you know, part of the, the, um, the Hilton chain, right? Like hotel chain. I mean, just again, someone who was born you know, with money and could become a celebrity. Um, I mean, you could just think of, of, of a lot of people, um, you know, who are just basically the children of wealthy or famous celebrities um, who themselves are celebrities. Or forthcoming celebrities, Blue Ivy, Jay-Z and Beyonce's child, right? Um, I mean, you can just think about it when you're born into, you know, um, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's kids, right? Like they're born into a celebrity world. So through their lineage, they, they are celebrity. Um, you know, Donald Trump's children, whatever, okay? So it can be ascribed. Celebrity can be achieved, okay? This is through achievement. Someone like, uh, I was going to say you know, LeBron James, but I don't, I don't want to give him too much credit. We'll say Michael Jordan, <laughs> right? He was, you know, he became famous by being really fucking good at what he did. Like, and he was recognized for that. And that's how he became fam famous, okay? 
Then we have a list of the talent list people. <laughs> this is attributed. People with no particular talent, they're not good at singing, they're not good at basketball, um, they're not good at anything. This, this could actually be Paris Hilton or a Kim Kardashian or um, you know, um, someone who really just is famous because they're famous. They actually have no talent, they actually can't do anything. Uh, and they're, they're famous, that's attributed. And then the last category is uh, celatoid. Okay, these are the type of people who are like famous for a few weeks, a few months, you know, and then, then, then they're gone. These are celebrities who are created, maybe someone who wins a popular, you know, game show um, or a challenge, like someone who, you know, um, whatever, win, wins something, you know, and, um, or someone who's focused on in the media for various reasons, positive or negative, because of a social issue or because they made the news for some dumb bullshit that they did, um, um, but they have no staying power. You know, that is what celatoid is. So ascribed, it's through lineage, they're born into this shit. Achieved, it's through actually doing something and doing it well. Um, attributed, no talent at all, uh, but they've gained attention and they're now famous. And then celatoid, which is, you know, your, your um, you know, people who have their, you know, couple minutes of fame and then they are gone. Okay. So in South Park, what does it do? It challenges the reproduction of, of celebrity. How celebrity is reproduced through the media, through media, often through media portrayals. That's why they often grab onto those portrayals uh, via the media and that's what they incorporate into South Park episodes. So they'll go after movie characters, not the actors themselves. They'll use them as their movie characters. Um, they'll critique the manufacturing, how you know, essentially celebrities are made and remade through the media. Um, they'll often, you know, obviously mock them, uh, put them in unflattering situations um, to undermine their authority. Um, they often show them as that their achievements are meritless. A great example is in More Crap, um, you know, where Bono's just so concerned with being number one that many of his achievements are actually not actual real achievements, including that he not only took the biggest crap, but he is the biggest piece of crap. Um, South Park tries to show us what their true um, root of celebrity is. So, you know, is it because they're incredibly promiscuous sexually or because they're incredibly violent like Mel Gibson? Because they're incredibly extremist and forceful in their views like Rob Reiner, okay? Um, even if celebrities have talent, let's say like Jennifer Lopez, um, you know, South Park will, will try to undermine that talent and will dismiss their actual talent often by how they portray them. So Jennifer Lopez is portrayed as a hand puppet on Cartman. And, you know, here's the thing, like, like you should be asking when you watch South Park episodes that deal with maybe celebrities you love, you know, or you used to love, you know, why? <laughs> like, why? Why do you celebrate them? Why do you lionize them? Why do you engage in the re of them? Okay? All this goes back to the fact that South Park is animated. It's what makes this all possible. It's what makes an episode or episodes like 200 and 201 incredibly possible. Not only from the religious deities that are represented, but also the celebrities, right? And it's vital, vital, vital that they do not need to partake. They don't need to partake. You'll have celebrities on Saturday Night Live who show up and, you know, partake in their own parodies, um, you know, but, you know, a lot of these people have egos and they don't, they, they don't have any self-humility or the ability to kind of deal with that. Um, the important thing with South Park is, is animation allows them to exploit, you know, 
um, the weaknesses of these people. It allows them to exaggerate their flaws and expose them in that sense, in a way that you could never do with live human actors. Um, and that you know is vital in that they can appear in situations that the celebrity it's themselves could never ever <laughs> appear in. Um, you know, in, in a live action, even, even if the celebrities are not partaking, that a human actor could. So they put them in situations that are, 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 are just really um, just out there, particularly, you know, scatological or lower body uh, type ways, okay? Um, and it's important because, you know, celebrities aren't invited into their own parody. They don't have any control over it. They don't have any say. They don't have any, any part of it. They're just there to be mocked in South Park. 